Bill, we'll have video from this of a Bigfoot and Gifford Pinchot National Forest. But we were talking about dogs uh, sniffing out. Uh, well, you've, you, you've been to border checkpoints. You've been in the, uh, in the airport. You know, they have these dogs that, that sniff for drugs, sniff for guns, bombs. And, uh, you know, they're highly trained. They're professionals, just like the armed officers that are, are handling them. And uh, sometimes, you know, they, they screw up like anybody else. You know, everybody makes a mistake, right? So, you know, they had a dog like this, and he would be, they would take him around. His handlers would take him around, sniffing for whatever he's looking for, drugs or guns or any, any of the above. And uh, he would get distracted by random cans or just things. He'd start playing with other stuff, and they had to send him back. He wasn't doing his job. So he was a dog that already made, passed all the tests, and he all was through, in the corps. All of his training, he was in the, in service, and he was screwing up. Now, we, we're relating this to being able to sniff out Bigfoot, but, that, but let's go back to that for a second, because I've seen a show where they teach these dogs how to go through all these different it's tests. It's rigorous training. It's rigorous, and they, there's... Dogs, they can tell that have the potential initially. They, they get like maybe 50 dogs, and they narrow it down to maybe three of them. They really have that special skill. And then the rest of the 47 go home. Now, this this dog you're saying is one of those elite dogs. He had already gone through. He stood out initially when he's being tested. This dog has a potential to sniff out Absolutely. things out. Then he passes all the tests. He makes it into the core, and that turns into a screw-up. Well, why? $10,000 bounty. Finding Bigfoot. Why don't they have these bloodhounds out there? Yes, I mean, exactly. if you're going to track down a wild animal, why don't you get the specialized tools to do that? The only thing I'm thinking now is they don't have some a, a scent to test off of. Because it's usually here, sniff this clothing and then go find the man. But what are they going to do for Bigfoot? Because everything they test, the hair, turns out to be a you know bear or something like that or a human. And so that's the only reason why they wouldn't have... Uh... I, I'd imagine because what would they, what scent would they? I mean, unless they just say you know go find something, but they could bring back a, a muskrat rat or something. They'd have something to test it off. Of. A muskrat. They'd, they'd have something that they, the dog would have to sniff initially. That's uh, interesting. You bring up muskrat, Captain Tennille, uh with the song "Muskrat Love." You know, they my, recently, one of my favorites. They recently filed. Uh, she filed for divorce. Because she was sick of the captain. I guess. Captain she's got Antonio. some kind of a medical medical issue, and I guess she's not getting what she needs. She's not getting her needs met, so now they're they're she's filing for divorce. Oh, he has some kind of medical issue. Yeah, he's got some kind of a medical problem. Yeah, but with all the new breakthroughs in medical technology, maybe he'll get with some, their money. Yes. Come on, you would think. I guess it's not all uh, muskrat love. Bigfoot related because Bigfoots uh, live in the same area as muskrats.